I didn't expect to run into any horned rabbits while on the road. Ayaka grinned as she tossed three of them into the cart with the bowl they got earlier. Laughing, I'm starting to be glad that we got the larger cart. Mizuki tossed two horned rabbits inside. Well, with that, we more than paid for the cart, Ayaka happily said. Though the cost of the cart wasn't a lot, it still was on Ayaka's mind. Considering how important guild points had become in their lives, spending more than they were bringing in wasn't something they wanted to do. This made it a point of anxiety, not knowing whether they'd be able to recoup the expense of the cart with monsters they hunted. Ayaka lifted the handle and began pushing the cart forward. They were currently at one bull and five horned rabbits. It meant that their total so far was 50 guild points since they started hunting again after taking a short break earlier. With the cart only being 40 guild points, their profit was 10 guild points. If they hunted two more horned rabbits, then it would mean that the carts that they rented for the day, the smaller and larger one, would be paid for and what they gathered before the break would all be profit. This wasn't including the equipment that they purchased in the store, but Ayaka felt like it was different compared to the cart. Though they had to pay for the gear up front, the use of what they purchased would last for more than a single day, but the carts were only for a 24 hour period. I wonder if this is what businesses have to go through on a daily basis, Ayaka said as she walked with the cart. Mizuki laughed. You sound like my parents. Did you get older without me knowing? Rolling her eyes, Ayaka said, Seriously, considering we have to take account for various things, such as how much we spend, doesn't it feel like we're running a business? Controlling her laughter, Mizuki nodded. I'm kidding with you. She skipped away out of the range of Ayaka's fist, trying to punch her on the arm. If you think about it, our job currently is to survive this new world. So I guess you could say that we're in fact our own separate businesses. Each of us is trying to make it out of here alive. Ayaka listened to Mizuki's words which sounded serious compared to moments ago. I can imagine that other people around the world are doing something similar. Instead of jobs where we ask someone else to pay us for work, we have to do the work ourselves. Mizuki said, Though there is Star Moon, which would provide us food and shelter without needing to work. Remembering that there was a city above them that would take care of the needs of the survivors, able to find the shelter, Ayaka nodded. Even if she could just enjoy each day, and not go through the dangerous process they were taking part in, the thought of just enjoying life in the city didn't appeal to her. But at the same time, she didn't find anything wrong with wanting such a life. Thinking of the empty city above them and the level where it was modeled after the outside world, with lakes, forests, rivers, and hills, she tried to imagine the types of people that would hopefully fill it up. She wondered if there were people in the shelter other than them, or if the other levels were still empty 